I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Queen Elizabeth the first. I take three fingers at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line out and then a curved line in and stop. I come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curved line out and then a curved line in connect. I come on the left hand side and I draw one curved line. On the right hand side one curved line. Come back to the left we're going to draw a slightly curved line on the left and a slightly curved line on the right. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a curved line up connect on the left and a curved line up connect on the right. Come right here in the center and we're going to draw straight diagonal out slightly curved line in. Starting on the left we're going to draw a slightly curved line up, down, up, down, and out and underneath we're just going to draw a slightly curved line. Starting on the left I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line on the inside of my, my oval. And now I'm going to draw more wavy, wavy lines on the outside of that oval. And we're just going to keep continuing until we have a pretty good amount. I did four. You might do more. You might do less and connect. Now down here on the right I'm going to draw a baby circle and then I'm going to draw a curved line down, up, connect. I come over here on the left hand side and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, keep going, keep going, following the curve of my wavy lines all the way down. Now I come back to the first one and I connect with a curved line, curved line, keep going on each one all the way across, keep going and down, connect. Inside I draw a straight line, 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 straight line and continue straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, all the way down and around. Keep going. Good. Now I come back to the top on the left and I'm just drawing a baby circle in the center of each one of these other repeating spaces that we've just made and you bring them all the way down to the opposite side. Okay? Now, starting on the left, we're going to draw straight lines out, straight lines. Now everybody's going to end up probably with a different amount of straight lines because we all draw differently, but we're going to keep going. Don't draw through, whoops, and I just did. Don't draw through your drawing. We're going from left to right. Now we come back to the left and we're going to uh, connect each one with a little curved line all the way down and around and back up towards the right. Now you'll see back in the 1500s I think they really dressed up. Now I'm going to repeat those lines, curved lines again at the end of each one of these other curved lines. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. 
Now about right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve line down off the page. Come over here on the right, curve line down off the page. I come in a little bit and I draw one straight line on the left, one straight line on the right. Okay. Starting right about here, I'm just going to do some baby circles connected to each other on the left. Baby circles connected to each other on the right. Right here, I'm gonna, just going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, a square. But I'm going to go around it with curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to draw, starting on the left, slightly curved line, slightly curved line, slightly curved line, slightly curved line, connect diamonds. Slightly curved lines, connect, slightly curved lines, connect. Now you can make these, this is the design on her dress, you can make these anywhere and as many as you can fit. And when we color them in, I'll explain to you what they really are. Because you got to remember, she is a queen. Okay, maybe I can fit one more here. Alright, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color her in. Okay, in order to color her in and make sure that I can see what I'm doing. This is all red because this is her red hair. She had bright red hair. This is all of her hair. And you have to know that so many of the things that they wore were wigs. So they could pretty much make any color they want. But she kind of took with bright red. And then I went over it with orange. I double colored her hair. Now I did this so that you can see which part is hair and which part is her crown. Don't forget these little wavy lines on the inside. These are also little hairs. Okay? Then on her crown, I took yellow and I did the in, uh, outside yellow all the way across and know that some of you have fancier crayons than me you have gold this probably would be gold so I go all the way down with that then on the inside I take blue because these are supposed to be sapphires she's all jeweled up so this section is all blue because these are supposed to be blue sapphires all the way okay and then at the very top, I did purple, which would also be jewels. These could probably be garnets or some kind of precious stone because she is the queen. The queen jewels are beautiful in England. Okay, then I came down and this, <clears throat> excuse me, is a hanging pearl, but I didn't have a blue, so I made mine kind of a magenta, but you can make that any color you want. And then she had extremely blue, blue eyes. So I gave her turquoise blue, blue-green eyes. Okay? Now we come down to her dress. All of these little diamonds are not diamonds. They're sapphires. So she's wearing what you would probably weigh a, a lot, a ton, because this is all jewel-encrusted. This is a big one. So those are all sapphires, and this is a little bit of gold on this big one, all the way around. And then she's got on black pearls. That's what these little baby circles are. So these are all black pearls. Very ornate. And some of the dresses meant things. They would put in little secrets in the actual design of the dress. Then the last thing I did was I colored all the way around everything with purple because purple is the color of royalty so this is all purple now some of you might go what is that around her neck this is a ruffle all done in white lace very stiff 
So when she got dressed, that's why people had to help her get dressed. She had all kinds of stuff on. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's Queen Elizabeth all dressed up, ready to go to court and see her fellow citizens of England. I would cut her out and put her on a piece of velvet. That would be really cool. Okay, bye-bye.